MIT, so yes. that time period between 1966 and 1969, because mm -hmm. things really began to happen around that time, right? I mean, well, I, yes, it was the beginning. <laughs> it was the beginning. Uh -huh. So, so what was what was going through your head? I mean, knowing what you know now, <laughs> <laughs> that I could make money at something I like to do, was the impetus for the whole thing. And I had friends who wanted me to make them the clothes I was wearing, and that's how I got started. I love, and you won't know it today, but I am a huge fan of color mm -hmm. and pattern. Yeah, Another me thing, too, but <laughs> I know, oh my gosh, I just realized that, that's right. Isn't that funny? You know, I, I, yeah, I just, but I, you know, color speaks to me. You know, what does it say to you? Because you use it so strongly in your work. Well, it's just, um, I love color, I love strong color, I love, well saturated color. I guess I inherited that from my my mother and father. My father was an artist, um, and my mother used to join coloring books. She loved coloring books and filling it in completely saturated like a uh, cartoon. And I used to sketch dresses for my mambo partners. When I was in high school, we were in love with the mambo, and we used to go to the Palladium on 52nd and Broadway, which was a Latin club at the time, the big Latin club. Um, I like that. And I like sketching dresses that I thought that my dance partner should wear. And that's about as far as I went with. I like the drawing yeah. part. So you can dance too, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. So the first time you saw one of your garments on a stranger, not someone that, that you designed for, but out on the street, I mean, I can't quite imagine what that feels like. If uh, they look good, it feels good. Yeah. And if they look bad? <laughs> it doesn't feel so good. <laughs> I'm Does sure, that look all right? I'm sure that was not a problem with you, though. I'm sure they look fabulous. I've had fabulous. my moments. <laughs> I mean, you can't always be perfect. It's just impossible to every season be perfect. It's, really difficult yeah oh absolutely I mean and and I mean please fashion is like the most fickle industry <laughs> I mean yeah one minute you're in the next minute you're out hey, I think it's... they say that in a, in a TV show yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what about then when you see photographs images of our very stylish first lady yeah wearing Stephen Burroughs I mean, does that make I was you... honored. Yeah, right? <laughs> Actually, she wore it twice. She wore it twice. Yeah. Yes, she this did. This is unusual. Oh, she loved it. Oh, <laughs> that was really a, a fun experience. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, that's really quite, you know, quite the honor. I mean, I'm just thrilled that we have a first lady with so much style. It's been a very, very long time. Right. And I love that she's embraced American designers. Versailles in 73. That just must have been a phenomenal time. It was a great experience. Uh, it was a lot of hard work and we made out very well. <laughs> oh, I'd say that's an understatement. That it still <laughs> resonates today is just amazing to me. Yeah, yeah. Because at the time it was not like this big thing. It yeah. was hardly noticed in the American press at all. Um, and of course the French were embarrassed so they didn't talk about it too much um, but it was a great moment for all the Americans it, it was uh, that's they truly terrific screamed and yelled and stomped on the floor and threw their programs up in the air and stood up and what it did was you just do amazing I thought something had gone wrong <laughs> before that because they were screaming uh, it was it was a thrilling moment. Yeah. <laughs> so you just had a retrospective which recently closed in New York City. Yes. Tell me about it. That was a lot of hard work too. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> well, finding pieces, to, um, the fabrics I use are, are very touch friendly and delicate. And it's finding things that survived because people wore them to death till they fell apart. Um, that was a little daunting. But we did find people who let us know they had things, uh, museums, uh, some Pat Cleveland uh, who treasures my things. She, she's like my vault. Because <laughs> um, she has things from back in the 70s that, that I don't even remember. 
that she brought out to me a couple of weeks ago, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe you still have this and it still fits And it still her. fits. It fits her like a glove. Oh, don't you love it? <laughs> <laughs> don't you love it? Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs>